Gina Johnson is training for the Try for a Cure. And with the race comes the fundraising piece. But after doing it for a few years, she needed a new approach. I was just trying to get creative um, and just do something different. So you might say she adopted the philosophy, think smarter, not harder, and got her husband to do some of the heavy lifting. If somebody's got something that needs done that they physically can't do or, or they just want done and they don't want to do it, you know, I'm game for whatever. And that's where Rent My Husband comes in. If you buy a raffle ticket for the fundraiser, you're entered in a chance to have Brady do your yard work, home improvements, you name it, with one don't on the honeydew list. Painting. <laughs> I'm not a painter. I mean, I will. I'm, I'll do it if that's what they want. I'm not going to tell somebody no, but probably painting. <laughs> Gina says it wasn't a tough sell. Brady actually helped come up with the idea, and it's been a good one. So far between this year and last year, we've raised over $1,000 <laughs> just, just by having a husband who loves to help people and likes to use his talents with woodworking and things like that too. So This is Gina's fifth Try for a Cure, where all the money raised goes to the Maine Cancer Foundation. She says she just wants to help. We all have people that we know in our lives that have been touched by cancer. And so it's one of those empowering races that you just do and you feel the energy and the spark and you just keep going back. Well, they've actually already drawn the winner for the Rent My Husband raffle. And here's some good news. Brady doesn't have to paint. He's going to help with some trim work and siding. You can still donate to the Maine Cancer Foundation. Just go to our website, the Try for the Cure page.